If you want to start your own detailing business or side hustle, then this video is for you. Hello, hello everyone. My name's Dylan, and today we're going to be talking about some tools that you need for both an interior and exterior starter kit. So while it's, it's not very expensive in general to begin your detailing journey, saving money is always a win. So if you missed out on Black Friday or just want some new toys, then let's take advantage of the Cyber Monday sales. Starting off our list for interior work are a set of gloves. You're going to be messing with a lot of chemicals. So it's best to keep your hands as protected as possible. A pair of nitrile gloves will do just that. And they come in all sorts of packs, so you're going to get a lot for the money. Also, just take a second and imagine having to pay the hospital bill if you do hurt your hands. That is definitely going to cost a lot more than a pair of gloves would. Not to mention, these gloves can come with grips on them that will really help avoid dropping things. Because in the detailer's world, dropping your cleaning tool is one of the worst things that can happen. Because then you have to go and switch it out and you have to replace it and blah blah blah. You know the drill. To help you out, the ones I currently use are down below in the description. They're also the only ones I can really ever find in stock. So if you know of a pair that's better online, then let me know because... I might upgrade myself, it's, it's been a little bit. But they definitely get the job done. The next item on our list is why we need the gloves. So, an all-purpose cleaner, or simply an interior cleaner, is probably the most important thing you can get when starting out. Like in the name, this is what's going to be doing the most work besides yourself on any job. So it's important to stock up while you can. The good thing is, there's tons to choose from, with different smells, colors, and so on to suit all of your needs. As a rule of thumb, make sure to buy in bulk, whether that's in the form of bottles or gallons, because that will also save you quite a bit of money in the long run. Now, in order to actually use the chemicals we've bought, we'll need something to agitate the cleaner so it works properly. A set of detailing brushes will become your new best friend and a stamp, really, of your arsenal. This is because they're going to help you lift up any gunk you find on the inside. And come in different sizes to help you get nearing the end really of into any space tools. that you, you have trouble item getting into. are microfiber towels. We're going to need something to wipe up any gunk we do find and agitate. And these kinds of towels do great when it comes to that. They really grab onto and hold whatever they find. So mopping up any mess you may come across or make yourself will be gone with ease. And that's exactly what we want to make our jobs easier. Because we always want to make our jobs easier, right? And to finish it off, the final item to address is something many detailers face that none of our previous items can really help with. This being any kind of hair. Pet hair, especially, is a pain to try and vacuum up without a little extra help. So you're going to need a pet hairbrush that is designed to stick to the hairs and help gather them up enough to vacuum. Some of these brushes can also create carpet lines, whether you've heard about them or not. But if you have, it's a nice little extra touch that you can give your vehicles up to you. On to the exterior portion of our list. The sixth thing to buy during this time of sales is some car soap. Also referred to as car shampoo, this is another chemical we're going to be working on with. You're gonna want to stock up on it since it's going to cut through a lot of the grime on the outside of your vehicle. And make sure to get one that smells nice because you'll be around this stuff a lot. It also helps if it produces a lot of suds for safer gliding along the paint just to avoid damaging it. Number seven, as you may have guessed, is at least one bucket to put the car soap in. Any size will really do, but preferably you'll want a five gallon to get the job done you know, smoothly. Maybe even two five gallon buckets because, you know, 
depending on how you decide to wash. So if two are, is in your budget, then go for it. To go right along with that, number eight is a wash mitt. You will need one of these to perform any kind of hand washing. There's not really much else that is quite as safe as one of these made out of microfiber. They are generally better than just using towels because they hold a lot more soapy water and can come with finger slots to help you maneuver around the more detailed areas. Nearing the end of our entire list is a drying towel. Assuming you already have a water source, you're going to need to get off any residue quickly to avoid leaving water spots all over the paint, especially if you're working in the sun. Drying it with a blower or compressed air is going to help, but you'll still most likely need a more a plush microfiber towel designated for hand drying. And finally, at the end of our top 10 list, a proper glass cleaner is a crucial step to finishing off some of the most important parts of a car. Making sure you get everything off of the glass is a must. Otherwise, you're going to see it immediately, which kind of ruins that good feeling you get after washing a car. So, an ammonia-free cleaner that's, say, safe for tinted windows is a must-have in making sure you and the customer are both satisfied with the experience as a whole. And with all of that said, if any of these items sound like the perfect fit for you, they are all down in the description below for easy access. If you have any ideas of your own that you'd like to share, make sure you do so, because I would love to hear them. And that's that. See ya. Thank you.